Hi, this is James Page for Soldier Mod TV at DSEI 2023. We're on the Ultra PCS stand and I'm with Tony White. Tony, thanks for joining us. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the digitised soldier. And for those who don't know what it means, perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about, about what that means and how you fit into it. Sure. Um, soldiers have always carried lots of different pieces of equipment. None of them have been integrated. So over the last decade or so, there's been a move to plug things together in a more sensible way, starting with power. So we power uh, all the devices a soldier might carry from one power source, so he only has to carry one battery. And more importantly, most of those devices are now smart and they can now integrate together through a data network. So all the devices can pass data between each other on this common data network, so-called digitized soldier. Okay, that's fantastic. So um, lots of things you've got on the stand today, but we're stood in front of a particular piece of kit that's crucial to that. Yeah, so um, if you think about um, how you plug this stuff together, you might imagine something like a junction box where you've got all these cables coming from all the different devices. That junction box is called a hub. Um, we have one of the world's first smart hubs, so our hub not only connects everything together, but also has a computer inside, and that computer allows us to connect devices that were never intended to work together, and that means that we can give soldiers a better chance of doing their job by integrating new devices quickly. And these devices are completely wearable and suitable for anybody, for the, for the dismounted soldier to be wherever they need to be? Yeah, so you'd have, you'd have seen at home things like your smartwatch or other wearable devices. And of course, in our military world, it takes time to get those things to market. It's not just a matter of painting it green. So uh, we take uh, this new, new innovations so they come along and integrate them through our smart hub. And our smart hub here is called Ultralinks. That's what we're talking about. And that little wearable computer allows us to integrate those devices that uh, maybe are just coming straight off the commercial world early and, and we can take those, recognize them and bring benefit to the warfighter by having this little wearable computer. And these are in demand at the moment, particularly for the, from the British military? Yeah, so we're seeing it globally. So uh, if you think about um, things you might need when you're, when you're a soldier doing your job, you need your gun, of course, and you need bullets and ammunition. Uh, you need water and sustainable foods, uh, but you also need energy in terms of the battery. Uh, you maybe want to know your health and may perhaps even stress monitoring. Um, uh, how, you know, how much um, water I've got left and so on. Uh, all those things are possible to monitor now and, and feed into the system as well as of course the fundamentals to do with location, you know, where I am, what can I see, so my situation awareness. Fantastic. I know situational awareness has been something that's been talked about quite a lot over uh, the course of this. So uh, being able to combine that both in the vehicle and outside the vehicle is, is, is really important. Absolutely. So, of course, if you're a soldier and you've, you've got all this wearable kit, when you get inside your vehicle and you're in your battlefield taxi, um, some of that stuff's not going to work. You're kind of inside a metal cage. So the ability to be able to plug into the vehicle system when you're in transit, not just to uh, charge up your battery maybe, but also plug into the vehicle network and maybe get a view of what's happening outside through the vehicle cameras or what the, lo what the location is using the vehicle GPS are also equally important. We, we, have, a, we have a solution which allows us to integrate the, the digitized soldier into a digitized vehicle to allow that power and data exchange to happen. Fantastic. Well, uh, look, we're okay, hopefully going to take a closer look at some of these, but um, thank you very much for taking the time to explain that to Soldier Mod. My pleasure. Good seeing you again.